Hi y'all, it's Jeannie from Bushnell Unscripted and today I thought we'd take a deeper dive into this diamond art kit um, that I purchased from Michaels. This is their Make Market brand and I am going to be using this one for the upcoming Drills and Chills event. 2024 and that is an annual event that's held and um, this year the two sponsors or co-hosts I should say are Diamonds and Washi and Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'll link to their information in the description and it begins September 1st and runs through October 31st and you're not to begin it until September 1st, but you can go ahead and kit up your item and that's what I'm gonna do. So just in case you haven't seen one of these, this is my first um, Make Market Diamond Art Kits and they give you complete instructions. And they have a little kit. It's a little step up from some other brands, a few um, zippies, gray little boat, there's your placer with a soft little, um, and here's your wax, and on top of it has plastic you'll need to peel off and on the bottom. I really like that it comes in these little plastic containers. I like those a lot. Um, so that's everything you need to get going with diamond painting. And then here are the drills and as you can see this is a dark one. But pretty. So this is my first Hitting up video that I've done. And there are 47 colors <laughs> in this kit. Yep, 47. So let's see if I can get this all in here. It's not too bad. So this one's really dark. It's got a skull, books. Ink, some parchment paper. Just, I love it. I think it's so nice. And it's gonna qualify for a couple of things for me. Not only um, for Drills and Chills 2024, but um, you'll be seeing this in some some backdrops that I'm doing when I talk about some books. So it'll be popping up. So let me see here and get the measurements for this one. This one is 16 inches by 20 or 40.6 centimeters by 50.8 centimeters and I'm trying to see if there is um, it's a pre-printed canvas anything special it's just called skull so if you go on michaels.com and that's what the finished piece looks like sorry I've got a little door in front of me here um, that's better <laughs> work smarter not harder Jeannie so yeah I think thought that was so while well, dark and kind of um, a little bit of spooky vibes not too spooky I'm not into horror or anything it's fitting so it's got the literary hit for me as well as a little bit of spooky vibes so this one won't be too bad and it's got it's a really nice soft canvas the chart is very easy to see we've got the complete alphabet 
through 26, and then 27 begins different symbols. So alphabets and symbols. And you do have two legends on either side. So let's put this aside for a little bit. I'll be starting on that in September. And now I'm just going to work on kitting up. I've got a couple of other things I'm gonna be starting and getting to. Excuse me, my floor is gonna, I've got a board down here <laughs> that uh, my wooden floors creak. Um, I have some other kits I'm going to be getting to, but I wanted to go ahead and get this one because I know August is going to fly by and I want to go ahead and have this one just ready to go. So let's see what we got here. I haven't used, this is a new kit for me. I haven't used one like this before. I'm frequently using uh, just a very common one from Harbor Freight, but I went ahead and got this bigger one for this kit. So, you know, this is now my, this will be my second event that I've participated in. Um, my first one was in June for, oh no, this will be my third because I'm in one now for Christ, Christmas in July. Um, oh, these are perforated. Do they, do they tear? No. Um, so this is my process. You know, everybody's kidding up process is different. I just like to see kind of what I have going on initially. I don't get too far ahead of me. These are really pretty. Um, so, as I was saying, Feline Love 24 from Diamond Grandma. Uh, I'll link to her below as well. I don't know if I need this or not. Let's try it. And I also am doing Christmas in July with Diamond Grandma. And for that, I've been working on an entire set of Christmas cards that you diamond paint. And those have been really fun. In fact, I'm finishing up a card today and that'll be complete for July. Um, so, Feline Love, Christmas in July, and then it'll be the um, drills and chills. Don't knock it down, Jeannie. Um, I might need two of those, I'm not sure. So the events are really fun and encouraging to I found them encouraging to keep going and return back to your your projects. I've really enjoyed them so far. Granted, they haven't been big, um, super big <laughs> items or anything, but my feline love was a canvas, but it was a small canvas, and I can't remember the size of it, but it was small. It was smaller than the skull one. Kind of like the funnel. Is this going to hold the whole thing? Mm. Don't think it's going to. Not surprised that we're going to use a lot of black <laughs> on this one. Let's see if I can do this without spilling everywhere. A little bit more. Hmm. So yeah, we're going to use at least... 
least two of those. I won't open the other one. That's what I'll do. So I like the events, and um, it's the first time I'm participating in Drills and Chills. I heard about it last year, I think, for the first time. And everybody had talked about what, how much fun they had with it. So I'm looking forward to that. That may have easily fit in there. Hmm. Let's see. No, I don't think so. Hmm. I don't think so. I think it would have just been a little too tight. First, I'll move that to the side. Okay, so if you haven't tried an event, I encourage you to do so. Um, most everybody has some type of a Facebook group and you can share what you're working on. It also exposes you to some different canvases maybe you wouldn't have seen. And that's been fun too. I'm really looking forward to this one that's coming up in September. Curious to see how many people will participate. I have another canvas that's coming that I could have also used that I just ordered in my first order from Diamond Art Club. It's not here yet, but I decided to go ahead and do this one since this was my intended fall one to begin with. And I do want to speak a little bit about, you know, I haven't been in the diamond art painting or diamond painting club I won't say diamond art club diamond painting in general club for very long <laughs> um, I've been painting for a few years but I haven't really been active online with it you're just now starting to see um, my hauls and posts about it on my YouTube page. So I haven't belonged to the community for very long, but it doesn't take long for one to see that sometimes people can really feel left out in the community if they're not doing the exact same thing somebody else is, or they're not buying their canvases in the same place that somebody, I, I don't, none of that is necessary. You know, I, I want to speak to people who are just getting started as well as those like me who maybe haven't participated in the online community. You don't have to feel like you need to, to get your canvases from, from a specific place or that that's some type of requirement because it certainly is not. And don't let that hold you back from enjoying the craft because, you know, just like anything, there are so many, there's so many voices online, you know, and we just have to be willing to not only participate in conversation with others, but remember to listen to your own voice. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to get into diamond painting. I don't think you should. I think that when you're brand new, you may not enjoy this. There are plenty of people that I have known in the past couple of years who have started diamond painting and they don't like it. It's just not a craft for them. 
as much as I enjoy it, they don't see the use of it. So you might be that person who, wow, you've heard a lot about diamond painting, but you know, okay, I'm going to go out and spend all this money and get all these kits and, and then you hate it. That's happened, you know, with different hobbies and stuff before. Maybe you got all excited or, you know, sometimes just the excitement of something new propels you. But it can wear off and it can be short-lived. And it's okay if it's not for you. I just want everyone to feel like they belong to this hobby, like they can enjoy it without spending a gob of money. And for those who want to spend a lot of money doing it, enjoy yourself. Because <laughs> just, you know, have a blast. I'm glad that you're able to, to enjoy yourself at that level. Um, and, and there really are many, many levels and price points in diamond painting. So, you know, one of the, well, my third, my third and fourth canvases were Wonder Woman and the Justice League. Now, Wonder Woman is like a $55, $60 kit. It's diamond dots. And the Justice League is right around there too, if not $70 or $75. I did not buy that at that price point. I didn't even look at it when it was it's still on Diamond Dots website. For me, I would not have purchased it at that price point when I was looking to... I'd done a couple of diamond painting kits, really enjoyed them. They were off of Amazon. They were very inexpensive, really enjoyed the process, and it just so happened that I was out shopping and they were available right there on the shelf on clearance for $12 each. So I scooped them because I liked the topic, number one, I'm a huge Wonder Woman fan, and number two, I knew that Diamond Dots was a quality brand and a step up from what I had been purchasing and thoroughly enjoyed it. But I never initially would have tried the brand had it not been on clearance. So there is no shame in a sale. There is no shame in trying something at a lower price point. You know, I'm trying different companies and brands now. I am destined to click this over. As I have told y'all multiple times, I'm a klutz and I'm sorry if that bothers anybody, but it's true. Um, But it should just be a, an activity that's enjoyed. We don't, we don't need to put any more stress on ourselves about are we getting the right canvas? Are we getting it from the right place? Oh my gosh. I mean, some, in some areas of this hobby, there is a real you can't sit with us attitude. And I don't think that that does anything for the craft. I don't think it does anybody, anything for individual individuals. Nobody should have to experience that type of uh, attitude or behavior toward them. Again, let people do what they need to do. Nobody's telling you to buy your kits off of Amazon. 
You don't have to. Nobody's telling you to buy your kits from Diamond Dots. But there doesn't need to exist this whole attitude of, oh, you didn't buy this. You didn't buy your canvas from here. Oh, well, that's just, you don't know what you're missing. You don't know this, whatever. Okay, well, I don't think that type of argument has ever won anybody to do anything. I think hobbies are so important in life, and I think that all we need to really do is encourage each other to keep trying and learning. Right? I mean, if you fall in love with a company, I really like Diamond Dots. I think that their canvases are beautiful. And um, I've just got a couple more in that I'm going to try in different sizes. And so I I'm very excited to start those. I my experience with them so far has been lovely. Do I think they're the end-all be-all? No. <laughs> but I do enjoy them. And uh, I think they're great. I would highly recommend them. And I would highly recommend them even better when you can get them on sale. I don't know why there is a shame in this community about sales and discounts and and maybe you haven't experienced that. And if you haven't, I'm so happy that you haven't. But I have been coming across more and more these type of conversations. Like the other day, I saw somebody post in a group where they were just saying, oh, you know, how did everybody get started with their diamond dots? Now, she used the word diamond dots the phrase diamond dots and she spelled it d-o-t-s not d-o-t-z the company and of course there had to be somebody who was snarky and said oh well i don't i don't diamond dot oh my gosh <laughs> okay that one's a little hard to open um I don't diamond dot. I diamond paint. And I'm like, oh my gosh. You knew what the woman was saying. You know, you don't need to correct people when you understand them. That's just showing your lack of compassion. Your inability to want to communicate with somebody. You don't need to be that way. That, you know, having that constant desire to correct someone or make someone feel bad. I, I don't understand that. You don't need to do that. And it's that type of personality I'm talking about. Let me try this again. No. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. I, I, I have, um, arthritis in my hand so I don't have the strongest grip but that's on there tight so I don't participate in that and if I and I, I try to encourage people all the time when I see they've completed a, um, a canvas and I do not care where it came from that I'm not here to judge and I'm not here to be the police of canvases and diamond painting. Not my job, not my place. Um, but, you know, they self-appointed protectors of the throne. I don't know what else. They, you know, you can enjoy yourself and do what you want. That doesn't mean everybody's going to do that. And it, it should not mean that you start making people feel bad for what they can afford, what they can do. If we're all here enjoying this activity, let's don't throw stones at other people at what they're doing. 
let's lift people up so that we can all continue to enjoy this very fun hobby. And I do think it is fun. And it is so, uh, to me, it's just a breath of fresh air. I know some people are very competitive about how quickly they can get something done, and I don't do all that either. I, <laughs> my life is too full, and I work around it when I can, and I don't have set hours of how many hours a day I diamond dot. I can't do that. I don't have that. And not to say that, uh, you know, I think it's great if you do. Oh my gosh. Um, but again, not everybody does. And y'all may see me working on some for a while and I don't know I'm just here to encourage everybody to pick up a hobby and have some fun and spread the joy if you enjoy doing something let somebody else know about it buy them a kit let them get going I've purchased a couple of kits for other people and uh they're enjoying it. They never had heard of diamond painting at all. I know that's hard to believe for people in the community that are like, you know, eat and breathe diamond painting. But <laughs> there's lots of people who've never heard of it. <laughs> but it's so funny. Once you tell somebody... Then they say, you know, I never heard of that. And now, every time I pick up my phone, yep, those little ears we carry with us in our pockets are listening and waiting to offer us a good deal, right? I've just purchased some really really pretty canvases that I can't wait to show you. And I'm usually a type of person that I'm going to do one at a time. But I think I think I'm I think I'm going to try working on a few at a time. Do y'all do that? Let me know how your process. Do you like working on one project at a time and finish it. There we go. Or do you have multiples going based on your mood? Oh, and that's the other thing too. I, I, I know that I'm slower doing my diamond dots. See, I did it too. Diamond painting, excuse me. I know I'm slower doing my diamond painting than others because I don't multi-place. I am a single placer. <laughs> I've tried multi-placing. I'm not very good at it. And I end up futzing with everything I just put down. Trying to get everything straight and pretty. And I just lose all of the, I swear, I lose all of the time that I gained because I futz around with it. I'm just not, I envy those people. Oh man, those people that can use that little rolly wheel. Yeah. And 12 placer and phew, dang, I'd be doing, I'd probably become a professional diamond painter. That's it. What do you do? I diamond paint. That's it. <laughs> Because I'm so good at placing 12 drills at once. And you know, I there's some stuck in here, but I watch a lot of videos where people have um, a lot of static cling in their bags. This doesn't have it, and I, ha I haven't had it yet. Of course, I'm probably going to eat that. Unless I point something out, it always happens, but anywho. But yeah, I'm a single placer. So it does take me longer, and that's okay. And I'm not bothered by confetti or... Well, 
none of that. I, there was a woman I watched the other day. She was so upset because there was a lot of dark in her image, and she don't she doesn't like dark. I, I started thinking, you know, I don't I don't even pay attention to it. I just go to town. I'm just trying to get the thing done <laughs> and enjoy myself. Because, like I said, when I diamond paint. I, I go to a place of peace and calm and I'm good. It is just a, a wonderful hobby for peace for me. I'm not I'm not in a race. No race. I want y'all to know. Anybody's welcome here. I'm happy. I love looking at people's processes, their finishes, what tools they're enjoying. Um, there's so much out there that's exciting. You're all welcome here. You're welcome to share it with me. You know, the community you're going to find here with me is welcoming and I don't I don't want anybody to feel badly by any engagement you have here so oh you know this is that Timu strap I bought for my Samsung and I love this thing love it I've had no problems with it love it love it love it they have some really nice stop <laughs> watch bands. Highly recommend them. I think it was three dollars, four dollars. I don't know. It was affordable. And you, I haven't seen any junk or in these packets. You call it trash or. Look at the confidence that I put that in there with without paying attention. <laughs> Ta-da! Oof. It went, though. Got lucky. She played the lottery today. Um. <laughs> Y'all are welcome here. Whatever you want to diamond paint, I'm happy for you. Just enjoy yourselves. Oh my gosh, the world is so hard. Diamond painting shouldn't be. It's a great little hobby. And so many people do it. You know, it's good for people who are um, to help increase your hand-eye coordination focus. It is a wonderful pastime. So it doesn't need to be made difficult or clicky. You can't sit with us. Oh, where'd you buy that canvas? Oh, did you buy it off a of Timu? Oh, you can't sit with us. My table is long. You can sit with me. I think to discourage people from art and however they can do it is not the way to be. So that's what I have to say about that. And there are so many, it's not unlike, I guess why it has really struck me is because I'm an author, for those of you who don't know, and when I published my book in 2014, whew, 
it was a very strong community back then that was the likes of diamond painters now. Except it was all about, oh, where did you submit your book? Uh, did you submit your book for this blog to look at? Did you, did, you know, oh, you've got to have so-and-so read your book because she'll talk about it on your blog. And, oh, I can't tell you. I didn't know any of that existed. You know, you write a book and you're just so happy that you completed a book because it is an endeavor and it was my lifetime goal. And uh, you have no idea that on the other side of this, again, there's all these mean girls wanting to control what they think you should be doing with your book marketing. And I knew no better. I did not. So I was trying to do whatever. Okay, okay. Is, is that what I have to do? I didn't know. Well, it turns out it wasn't. Um, it's the silliest thing. Not to say that it's wonderful to have people review your book on their blogs. It's absolutely fantastic. But at the end of the day, it's not the end all be all. Ooh, there's two 35s. So one of those is going to go over there. And furthermore, if said blog isn't know your cup of tea or even reads your books that happens a lot people submit their books to a blog or -er, to read and that person doesn't even really like your type of book and you're just sitting there you know trying to get <laughs> I'm not trying to knock anybody I think there's some great writers of blogs who do wonderful reviews of books and they're not associated with a publishing house or anything they've created their own business doing that love it have supported many of them but then there are of course the flip side there's plenty of them who they're just trying to get free books they you know they don't even care about your book or if it doesn't fit in you know their idea because they just read this book and now they like they only like that type of book that's not you can't be a critic self-appointed or not and do that so it this is it's really struck me how it's the same attitude that I experienced back then. Didn't like it back then. Don't want to participate in it now with diamond painting of all things. But there will always be those people. There will always be those people who will tell you, well, we need to do it this way. And that's not how you grow. That's not how you attract people. There are things that we need to do a certain way. You know, travel correctly on a one-way road. <laughs> you know, certain recipes, you can only make it that way. That's it. You can only do it that way. So there are certain things that, yes, I agree with. Diamond painting is not it. Writing a book is not it. And... If it discourages someone, I mean, I literally talked to so many people in 2014 who were discouraged to even finish their book because they were they didn't want to have to face all of this nonsense. It's discouraging. That's not helping people create art. That's not putting beauty out into the world. How can you contribute to that? And and we should not be fostering that type of world. 
just my opinion. I'm just here to have a good time with this hobby. It's not, I don't want stress from it. The most stress I feel is not knocking over these little bottles. <laughs> but y'all, enjoy your diamond painting. Don't feel like you have to buy a certain canvas. Do it in a certain time frame. Okay, so there was a slight snafu. I was recording in my... I hadn't noticed that my phone <laughs> battery had died. So, um, I think when I left off, I was at 35. And I was stopping anyway because I needed to feed my dog. But, um, as I was saying... <laughs> Nobody needs to feel like that they cannot do this hobby or, you know, even it's that it should be cost prohibitive because it should not be. Um, there may be other companies that you fall in love with their designs or maybe you like some other aspect of their business, but there are plenty of companies out there. that everybody should be able to find a comfortable price point for the kits they want to purchase. And as long as we just all remain a supportive community and allow people to learn and grow and experiment, I mean, I love to see the haul videos and the unpacking videos that people do with their diamond painting. Uh, I think it's great. It's how I learn what's out there. How I can see what I like or what I don't like. Um, I, there's a place for everybody and there's a place for every company. So I just think if we keep that in mind it'll be beneficial. But you're all welcome here. That's the main point that I have <laughs> as we finish up here and I would really like to hear some of your you know how your for those of you who have been diamond painting for a while what are your tips and tricks that you follow are there certain times that you know are better times to purchase kits do you try to buy up as many as you can during a certain time of year and then avoid you know, buying any more for a while? What's your process? I'm very interested in how people, what they do, because it, it varies widely. There's a lot of FOMO a fear of missing out in this community, I have discovered. Um, you know, somebody, they see a number of people with a certain kit and then, you know, everybody has to run and get it. And then in a few months, it's some, you know, or maybe a year, whatever the time frame. Some of those people are like, I don't even know why I wanted this. There was a lot of, you know, excitement around it. And that does contribute um, to both some of the pleasure and pain, I guess, around the items. I certainly hope that you will remember that when you're you know, encouraging others, keep encouraging yourself and encourage others to 
have fun. And remember that this was meant to be a, <laughs> something that is relaxing and enjoyable. Aren't we competing enough in every other way? looking forward to starting this one in September and I like that I have a plan to start it in September so um, I'm a big planner and organizer so that's helpful for me I've been wondering when am I gonna get to this kit I bought it in I want to say May I think that's right. End of my movie. And no, I, and no matter what platform you shop at, there really is this sense of urgency with purchasing certain canvases and I mean even on Timu if you want something on Timu there's no guarantee it's going to be there tomorrow so there's always this sense of urgency but don't let that depress you or get yourself in financial deep waters because there will always be Another pretty kit. There really will be. And I'd love to hear what you guys do with your um, your finished ones. Are you hanging them? Are you putting them back in their boxes? Are you storing them under the bed? What are you doing with them? Everyone that, no, so far all the canvases that I've completed have either put on like a, a painter's canvas or purchased a frame. But I do like the idea that I saw of using the foam core board and putting them on there, mounting them on there, and then, you know, you can take them down if you want to, put a different one up. I really like to see, because I think that I purchased based on ones that I like to look at not so much a, oh, I really just want to finish that one. I am not a diamond painter like that. I really want to be able to see the ones I'm doing. Okay, 47 colors. And I did benefit from the funnel. And we've got three bags of doubles. And we are good to go for starting in September. Thank you guys so much for coming by. And I appreciate you. And as always, I thank you for your comments and your kindness. And I really hope that you're taking care of yourselves and do things that bring you peace. As always, I hope you keep love and kindness on repeat. And until I see you again, thank you and goodbye.